Hi there! Hope you guys are doing well. Today's video is going to be a merch and Japan souvenir haul video. I got a few items here and there from some of my favorite manga, anime, and artists, as well as some special souvenirs from my friends who recently went to Japan. This video is also sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Soccer Co, so I'll talk more about them later on this video. I'm very excited to show you guys all the items that I got for this haul, so let's get started with this unboxing! So starting off with our first few packages, I got all these using Bai Japan. So if you guys aren't familiar with Bai, they are a Japanese proxy service and they help you secure goods uh, from various Japanese websites that normally don't ship internationally. So basically a third party service where you would purchase goods through their website and it ships to their warehouse in Japan and then you can ship from the warehouse to your home. So I got a few limited goods for Oshinoko here because you had to be in person or attend certain things in order to get some of these items. So that's what I did and I ended up purchasing these from Makari Japan. Um, I opened the packages already just to make sure all the goods were there. But yeah, let's get started with the first package here. So, okay. So this one is a very cute keychain set that I got. All right, so I was able to take all of the keychains out, but they were securely a bubble wrap, so that was really nice. Anyways, the goods that I got are these keychains here. I believe they're from the Gashapon machines, but I wasn't sure if they were limited or not because I am planning to go to Japan later this year, but I wasn't sure how, um, if they would be available still. And because these are gotcha, um, obviously you have one out of six chance of getting all the different types. So um, I just went ahead and bought them from someone who already collected the different types. So actually for this particular set here, I didn't realize they were six different types. I originally thought there were five. So I am missing this aqua and ruby one, but I was able to get everything else for a very decent price. Mainly I wanted uh, Kana and aqua, but it just didn't feel worth it to just purchase one. Um, so I just tried to find a, a set with a decent price. So yeah, here are all of the different keychains. I'm gonna leave them in the plastic wrap for now, but they don't have a backside, just the front. And I just think they're so adorable, very cute. And then of course, I'm definitely going to be hanging this on my bag. And then, yeah, so I don't have the grown-up, like, Aqua and Ruby, but I do have, like, the baby version of them. So I still still have everyone, just missing one type, which sucks, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to try to get one missing keychain from this set. But anyways, yeah, that is the first item from Oshinoko that I got, and let's move on to the next package. So here is the second package, and let me show you guys. So these actually are shikishi boards for Oshinoko. I'm gonna take them out first and then show you guys and talk a little bit about the boards themselves. So here are the shikishi board outside of the packaging. So just to give you guys a little bit of background on what these shikishi boards are, these were bonuses that were given out when Oshinoko was playing in theaters in Japan. So if you guys don't know, the first episode of Oshinoko was one hour and 30 minutes long. So it's a movie length that was actually playing in theaters in Japan. I believe the movie was played in a few other countries as well, and these goods were also given out to those countries. But essentially, the few weeks that Oshinoko was playing in theaters, they had different bonuses each week. So I got the second week bonuses, and essentially these four types of shikishi boards were given, but they're all random and based on like tickets that you buy. So in order to secure all four shikishi boards, you had to buy four tickets and hopefully you were able to get all of the different types. So the seller I bought this from actually was able to get all four types and then I was able to purchase all the shikishi boards in one listing instead of just trying to find each shikishi board. So I got a pretty good deal for it. I think I spent like about $15. 
um, for each shikishi board. So I think it was a pretty nice deal because I think now these shikishi boards, because it was limited for a certain week as well, these are really beautiful. I think they're running for about $40, $50. Uh, I'm not too sure. I don't really see them anymore. So they are really limited. So yeah, um, the shikishi boards here, I'll show you guys the design. So first we have I. She is so pretty, but she has the O. And then we have Aqua and Ruby. So pretty. They're making this really cute heart sign. And it is she. And then we have I and then baby form Aqua and Ruby. And they have the word no as well. And last but not least, we have Kana right here with Ko. So pretty. And then if you put them all together, they spell Oshi no Ko. So that's why I really wanted to get the whole entire set. If I wasn't able to get the set, I would probably only have gotten Kana since she is my favorite character in the series. But I was able to find a listing with all of the four shikishi types, so I was able to get the whole entire Oshinoko shikishi boards. I think these were so beautiful, and I just knew I had to get them when I saw the preview of the bonus of these ones um, on the Twitter page of Oshinoko. So yeah, so happy to have these in my collection. And the very last goods that I got using Bai is... Okay. These ones right here, I think I'm going to take them out and then show you guys all the items inside this little package. So I took all of these stuff out of the packaging and I'll show you guys each item one by one. So first we have is this really cool illustration car of I, and I'm not really sure what this is for, but these two bonuses here were added to my order, so very appreciative for these extra freebies. But it's very pretty. And then we have this Christmas theme Kana as well. I love her little coat that she has with the antlers. Very cute. I'm always a sucker for getting Kana related merch. And then these are the actual goods I wanted to get. So these were Polaroids that were included if you bought the volume 11 of Oshino Ko. So this is the most recent volume that was released in Japan with a Kana cover as well. And I believe it's like one photo card um, Polaroid for each volume. So you had to buy five copies in order to get five of the different Polaroid types. But I was able to find a seller that was selling the whole set, which was really nice. So first we have is I with a really cool signature here. I think the back is pretty normal, so I won't look at that. But then we also have Ruby. And then we have Aqua. I love this style so much. As a K-pop collector, I'm a sucker for buying these type of merch. And of course we have Kana right here, my favorite. And then last but not least, we have Memcho as well. So yeah, these were all of the items I got for the volume 11 bonuses. And also thanks to my seller for adding these two other inclusions as well. But very happy to have these in my collection. And that is everything that I got from Bai. So, so happy to have these limited Oshinoko goods. I'm really enjoying the anime series. The adaptation is just spot on and I cannot wait to watch the rest of this season. So yeah, that is everything from Bai. Moving on, so the next package I have here are some goods that I got for a series called Mr. Love Queen's Choice, which is a game I play on a daily basis and also has an anime adaptation by MAPPA Studios. So this package is from Indonesia and I use this Indonesian proxy to secure goods from China because a lot of these official goods don't ship internationally. You have to use proxy. So sometimes I use this Indonesian proxy and sometimes I use Superbuy. It just really depends on the mood and how much I am buying for a particular um, event. So this one I believe it was an in-person event. So I don't think these items were listed on the Superbuy or Taobao website. So I just used the Indonesian proxy service to get the goods. So yeah, I'm gonna open this package and then show you guys each of the items one by one. 
So I took all the goods out of the bubble wrap packaging. It was very well packaged, so really thankful for my proxy. If you guys don't know about Mr. Love Queen's Choice, it is an Otome game. So it surrounds one female character as you are playing the female character and there are five different love interests. So of course I would love to collect all of the love interest goods, but I don't have all of the money in the world. So I do collect my favorite guy, which is Bai Chi. That's his Chinese name, but he also goes by Gavin in the English translation. Um, so yeah, I have all of his goods here. I also have a few of Victor, which is another love interest that I like. Um, for some of the items as well. So first we have there are some glitter displays. I'm a sucker for glitter display. I think they're really cute to just put around in my shelves. So I have this one right here. It's kind of hard to see, but they stand, they look prettier when you're standing them um, straight. So I got two of his glitter displays. And then I also have a bonus fan that came with purchasing some of these items. I think if you spend X amount of dollars, you can get the fan. And I believe this is the collaboration that I got it from. I don't remember the name of the collaboration, but I also got the Victor fan because I did buy um, a lot of merch for this event. And then we also have this Gavin Shikishi board. I religiously collect all of his shikishi boards for every single event so far um, which is not that great they're not that expensive um, probably like three dollars or so but shipping them for every event is not that great so that's why i usually do consolidated shipping for all of my stuff so yeah that is the shikishi board and then you also get this really cool ticket as well which is very, very cool. And then we also get this little Polaroid style photo card. You can definitely see the trend of items I usually collect for my merch. Okay, and then moving on, we also have this, I believe, notebook. Uh, let me see if I can take this out and then show you guys what it looks like. Oh, and there's something also in the back. So here it is. I actually don't know what this, I think this is a notebook. Yeah, it is. So you can doodle if you would like, but I'm probably not going to use this notebook, but I do really like the cover. Evil and Love, Love and Producer. So Love and Producer is another name for this game, but I just refer to Mr. Love or Mr. Love's Queen's Choice. And then it has Bai Chi and then Sunshine After the Rain, which I think is his card. But yeah, nothing much besides that. I think these are like the New Year cards that you get. Oh, and I don't know if it's one or two. Okay, it looks like there's only one card. Maybe, I'm not sure why I only got one, but this is it. So this guy is a little bit different from the previous guy, but this is Victor or Li Tian, another love interest, and he's my second favorite. So I guess this was like a bonus that I got from this order. And then of course we have another Shikishi board of Gavin as well. I think this is from another collab, like Summer Palace or something like that. So they do tons of collaboration and events like every month. So it's really hard to keep up sometimes on the name of the events that they do. Okay, and then this one right here is a passport, I think, for the event itself because it was an in-person event. So I think you can get it stamped or something like that. So this is it, Temple of Heaven. That's the event that I got for most of my goods. And it just has some pretty cool illustrations, like a fake passport. I think you are able to like get it stamped if you attended the event, but uh, I don't remember if I asked them if they could stamp it or not. And then you get some cool stickers or maybe these are the stamps that you get and then they just didn't put it in the passport book okay so that was that and then the last item i have is another shikishi board so this one's really cool because um it's black and white here but if you turn it to the side you can see it's like full color so it's like those hologram shikishi boards 
but yeah that is everything i got for my mr love queen's choice package as always i'm very thankful for my proxy for able to secure the goods for me but yeah that is everything so here is the next package that i got from cd japan and i actually use their proxy service to get these goods as well and i usually use cd japan proxy mainly to get um, new or official merch from websites that don't ship outside of Japan so I think see Japan has always done a great job with getting my order and packaging my order as well all right so here are the items that I got these items are from one series only and it is a sign of affection a sign of affection is one of my favorite ongoing shoujo modern series Metacross has done a few merch releases for a sign of affection um, I think several times already but this is like I think their third or second time that they've done another merch release so I knew I had to get the merch for this one as well because these are definitely limited edition items that's really hard to get so before I actually get into the different merch that I got for a sign of affection, I wanted to share you guys the purchase bonus that I got for this merch release. So Metacross usually does a purchase bonus for most of their collaborations. So if you spend like X amount of money, you can get one purchase bonus. And so I bought quite a few. So I was able to secure quite a lot of, of these little transparent card bonuses. And there were, I believe, six types. So I believe I got all six types, but let me show you guys each of the designs. So first we have is Itsumi and Yuki. These are the main characters of A Sign of Affection. So very cute. And then we have this one of them shopping, I believe. And I have two of these. And then this one right here, this is the latest volume cover release of a sign of affection for the english copy so i have two of those and then we also have this one which i think is another manga cover but i really love the quality of these transparent cards and they look really beautiful this one is also a new illustration i don't really recognize and then last but not least i think we have this horizontal card as well and with that, that is all of the purchase bonus and hopefully I got um, all of the purchase bonus types, but I do have six versions here. So I'm very glad to at least have a variety of bonuses. And moving on to the actual merch. So I'm gonna go through these ones first. So these are acrylic standees of the two main characters and these acrylic standees are based on the manga volume covers so this one is the standee for manga volume 6 of a sign of affection and i actually just got the english copy for volume 6 so as you can see here they're based on the cover and i think i mentioned this on my haul that i wanted to display the acrylic standees with the volume as well so i'll definitely do that later on and then this one is the latest um japanese manga volume that was released i think volume 7 which was also a limited edition as well so those are the standees that we have and then we also have this really cool calendar so uh, i believe this calendar you can use it in like perpetuity so forever and you can just move the dates um, in accordance to the days of the week and I just thought this was really cool. I'm a sucker for really cute calendar displays so I'm very happy to have this and this is kind of the image that you get when you assemble the entire calendar together so I'll definitely be using it as well for a sign of affection. And then last but not least is this one right here. Uh, let me see if I can open this up but these are shikishi boards so there are eight different types and they're all based on the manga covers as well as there's this bonus one with yuki itsumi and oishi which is another character in the series so they're all wrapped in here so i'm just gonna take this out and then show you guys each board one by one got the shikishi board out of the packaging but what I really liked about this particular shikishi board order is that it came with the whole entire 
box set so you're able to get all of the eight different types compared to some stores will make you purchase like single shikishi boards and then you'll have to like find and collect them all or buy multiple copies so you can get all eight different types but this box set here actually lets you get the whole entire set which is very very nice anyways i actually ordered the shikishi board by the manga cover volume so we'll go through each board so this is the volume one manga cover and it's so stunning and you can see how much the mangaka's art has changed throughout each of the volumes so this is volume two and then we have volume three and i actually have all of the acrylic standees for each of the volumes that are out so far as well from their previous metacross merch release so that's four and then we have five six and then seven and then this one is not a manga cover but this one is just one with itsumi yuki and bushi as well but yeah those are all of the shikishi boards all eight different types i love all of these and i'm so glad to have the complete shikishi board collection if i had to choose my favorite it would be the most recent volume release this one right here i just think it's so good so that is a sign of affection that's all the goods i got using cj van proxy and can't wait to display them on my shelf now more about our sponsors thank you tokyo tree and soccer co for sponsoring today's video Tokyo Tree and Soccer Co. are monthly Japanese snack subscription boxes that aims to share the experience of Japan from the comfort of your own homes through the form of snacking. Both Tokyo Tree and Soccer Co. have a different theme each month, so you'll always be enjoying something new. For this month, we have the June box subscription for Tokyo Tree and Soccer Co., so let's get started with Tokyo Tree first. So here we have is the Tokyo Treat June box. It's very pretty and an orange and yellow theme with some hints of blue very cool and for this month's theme it is osaka snack nation so as osaka is known as japan's culinary capital the snack in this box encaptures osaka's fun and exciting eats and snack flavors that you must try here is a booklet that says osaka snack nation so every Sakura Co. and Tokyo Tree Box comes with this particular guide here. This booklet includes a wealth of information about Japanese culture and nutritional and ingredient facts for each of the snacks within the box. So let me just show you guys a little quick flip through. Very informative and gives you a lot of information and details about the theme for the month. And here are all the snacks as usual. Here we have Kit Kat in a different flavor, looks to be orange, and some popcorn. So Tokyo Treat Boxes includes up to 20 of the latest, most exclusive, limited edition, and seasonal favor snacks. And all these are so cool. I love Japanese snack packaging. They're very nice visually appealing makes the form of snacking in japan just so well-rounded from eating delicious food to even just enjoying the packaging as well but and of course i always love getting some type of ramen or noodle base for my snack every month but we got a lot that i have never seen before so i cannot wait to try it out and ooh, some more pastries as well. But yeah, that is everything in this Tokyo treat box for the month of June. Now let's head on to the Sakura Ko box. Here is the Sakura Ko box for the month of June. As you can see here throughout the box, there are these beautiful cherry blossom designs. 
and I think they're just really, really pretty. So the theme of the Sakura Co. box for June is mochi and fruit marvels. So we know them for their quality and refined taste. Mochi and fruit are two delicacy that holds a special place in the hearts of many Japanese people. And the snack in this box includes specially curated treats and tea. And Sakura Co. boxes are directly sourced from local Japanese snack makers with each box containing 20 traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and also a Japanese tableware. So here it is. So we get a really cool illustrative postcard every month. And then this, similar to the Tokyo Treat box, comes with an informative booklet about Japanese culture as well as the uh, ingredients and nutritional facts for each of the snacks in the box here. Very beautiful informational guide. And here are all the treats. You can see here, I love the packaging for all of these different snacks. Oh, and here we have are the mochis. I love mochis a lot. Ooh, some crackers as well. And we even have this really cool Ooh, another mochi i have never seen this before but i the packaging inside is very squishy <laughs> that's really cool and then we have some crackers that is everything for the snack portion and of course every box comes with a tableware as well so let me try to open this and we have this really cool ceramic plate Ooh, very, very pretty. I like it a lot. These are so nice to place your snacks and then take photos before you eat them. But yeah, that is everything in this Sakura Co. box. So here are the June boxes for Sakura Co. and Tokyo Treat. You definitely don't want to miss out on this opportunity to experience these treats. And it's not too late to get these June theme boxes. If you're interested in subscribing to Tokyo Treat or Sakura Co. for yourself or gifted to a loved one this season, I'll leave my affiliate links down below as well as my code Diana to get $5 off your first purchase of Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. purchase. So thank you Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. for sponsoring today's video and let's head back to the unboxing. Moving on, so here is the last package that I bought for this haul, and it is from an artist that I've been following for a couple of years now, Callie Flair. I'm actually in her monthly Patreon group as well, and she creates lots of really cool original characters and designs, and I just love her art style so, so much. So this is an item that she released last year for pre-orders that I got, so let me open this box and then I'll show you guys the item nicely packaged. I love this pink tissue paper. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So these are some extra inserts, but this is her little card here as well. So this is the Cali Flair Sailor Ita bag. So I did buy an Ita bag from her and these are just the extra pin inserts. So if you guys don't know, I do collect enamel pins, a lot of anime pins, and if you're interested in what I own, I have a Instagram highlight on my Instagram um, page of all of the pins I have ever bought from every artist. So, okay, so it's very securely packaged, so I'm gonna take this out and then show you guys the look of the Sailor Ita bag. All right, so here is the Sailor Ita bag by Cali Flair. So I got the black bag with pink accents, but there were two other versions that you can purchase as well. And I think it looks so cool. I never had a Sailor Ita bag before, so this is definitely a new one to add into my Ita bag collection. And then here is the back of the backpack, which you can display your pin as well. You can add the insert little tab here and then kind of just put it in here as well. I think it looks really cool. So you can wear this bag as a backpack style. Um, it comes with these two straps here or a crossbody, which has this bigger strap as well. So I think this is a really cool um, Ita bag design and it's very, very beautiful and clean and kind of just reminds me of like, I don't know, 
an animated character going to school, but this is also the inside of the bag as well. Um, it's kind of hard to see from this camera angle, but there's some space right here. The print and the um, inside is really cute with the bunnies and the flowers, so it's really cool. And I think this has enough space for a 13-inch laptop, I believe, or some iPads, but very spacious as well. So I'll definitely be using this bag for like anime conventions to wear or just to go out for fun. Also with the bag, it comes with a pre-order enamel pin. So I'm a sucker for collecting pins. So there's a matching enamel pin of the bag right here. It is so pretty. I just love Callie Flair's art. I'm a sucker for all the merch that she releases. So very glad to have this Ita bag and to be able to support her as well. So yeah, that is the Ita bag that I got from Califlare. So the final part of this haul is actually some souvenirs that I got from friends who recently went to Japan. I actually had two friends exact who got me some really cool souvenirs that I'm going to show you guys right now. So I'll start with some of the items that my first friend got me. So she is the one that actually introduced me to one of my favorite sports, manga, anime series of all time, Haikyuu. So in Japan, she actually got me some really cool Haikyuu stuff that I'll show you guys right now. So this is the first item that she got me. It's like this really cool Haikyuu poster. It says HQ level up with some of our favorite uh, characters in this series. We got like Hinata, Kageyama, Kenma, Kuro, and the rest of the gang. Um, and then she also got me this Oikawa, uh, or I mean to say Trikawa. Uh, I believe this is actually like a puppet plush. So yeah, if you guys don't know, Oikawa is my favorite character in the series. And so um, she just got me this really cool Trikawa. This is like a very popular like icon of his as well. So I thought this was really cool. And the other item she got me is this one right here. We got Osamu Mia and it's, it's an acrylic standee of him as well. So these are the items that she got me that are of course high key related and I'm very grateful that one, she introduced me to this amazing series, and two, I am in love with all of my new Haikyuu merch. This is what my first friend got for me in Japan, and let's move on to the other items that I got as well. And my other friend that went to Japan actually got me a whole bunch of stationery. So if you guys don't know, Japan is the home of very cute, functional, and affordable stationery. So she was able to really grab me like a wide variety of stationery. There's so many, um, but I don't talk about this on my channel. I do journal actually on a daily basis. So I'm very glad to have all these really cool stationery to kind of enhance my journaling experience. Anyways, I'm gonna take everything out and then show you guys by categories, all the items that she got me. Starting off with some non-stationary items, you got some sunscreen from the brand of Bora UV, as well as these really cute pair of socks. It's very soft and I love the design a lot. Going through all the stationery, we have this really cute and adorable Kurumi pencil pouch. It is actually double-sided, but you can open it this way right here and store all your items here or this side as well. She has two different designs. I love Kurumi a lot. I'm a sucker for Sanrio characters. They're so cute and adorable, but I love and adore this really cute pencil pouch. Next, we have our some masking tape and washi tape. So here we have our some very adorable Pokemon theme ones with all of our favorite characters. Very cute. I think these are both the same design. And then we also have Doraemon as well. Very cute. And then some of cool food designs and little decorative items like flowers and some grids and more food. So those are all of the masking tape. Next we have are some pens and highlighters and markers. So first we have is this 
juice up pen in the size 0 0.4 i love thin pen sizes so it comes with a variety of different colors i don't think i ever used this particular brand before so hopefully the ink is nice and smooth and dries up fast then friction colors i've used these before i used the pen version but i think these are the highlighter version but essentially if you highlight something you can actually erase the highlighter using the tip of the pen or yeah tip of the highlighter because it goes away by friction or heat and then we also have these watercolor markers which are really cool with these four different colors and i believe they're the 0 0.5 size as well moving on to my favorite type of stationery i got a whole bunch of stickers so i'm just gonna rapid fire all the little ones i got so first we have are some little mini page post-it notes so these are really cool if you're like reading like your favorite manga and you want to save or bookmark some really cute notes you can use these little page turner um love the different types of design very adorable and i also got this really cute um ninja pack of sticker set and then we also have these stickers as well just very minimal designs bubbles to like flowers and then bows and then we also have these food themes so just a lot of variety of different stickers from various different series little even page flag stickers and then we also have our sanrio pom pom purin very beautiful flower sticker sets from blue and then this pink adorable set of little cats they're so cute and then we have our, of course, pastries and desserts. So this is like the purple set. And then also the green set. Yellow set right here. Some Japanese lettering. Oh, and also this is the blue set for the pastry flower theme. And then we have some more decorative flowers. And then, of course, our stack of Sanrio character stickers. So we have... Um, Kiki and Lal or My Little Twin Stars. Oh my god, they're so adorable. More Pom Pom Purin. He is so, so cute. And then Cinnamon Roll, which is one of my faves. Such a cute puppy. And then of course Pochoco, which I think has to be my favorite Sanrio character. I am a sucker for Pochoco stuff, so he's my favorite. And then we also have little Kurumi. So cute and of course can't have crew me without my melody so i got too many stickers it's gonna last me forever last but not least we have some notebooks so this is a my melody notebook so you can draw or journal stuff in this little notebook here but it's very very cute and then we also have this my little twin star notebook as well same thing just some blank pages but very cute for journaling or writing notes down i love how small those notebooks are and then last but not least we have these letter sets so i have like this really cute cherry theme one and then this kitty one right here and um i forgot the name of this bear is it kuma bear I'm not sure about this set of his and then some more kitty cat theme letter sets so very great for writing letters to friends during holidays or birthdays and events so thank you to my friend for getting me all of these stationery i think i may be set for life it's gonna take me a really long time to get through all of these items but yeah thank you to both of my friends for getting me all of these souvenirs from japan and remembering me and just knowing exactly what i like and want i am so happy but yeah that is everything for this haul video and let's move on to the outro so here is an overview of some of the items that i talked about during this unboxing this is a very special haul for me because I was able to get some very exciting merch from my favorite series and artists as well as I'm extremely thankful for my friend again who got me a whole bunch of cool items from Japan. Everything is so cute and I'm just very emotional and happy. Also, big thanks again to Tokyo Treat and Soccer Co. for sponsoring today's video. I had an enjoyable time seeing all of the themed snacks for the month of June and I can't wait to try all of them out. 
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and haul, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye!